Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I want to share with you how to use the index and match function in Excel to make it so much easier for you to find data based on a given matrix. So here we have a business scenario. As a natural professional, we need to propose merit increase based on a given merit matrix. So for example, in the table here below, uh, the mirror matrix that we are going to use are defined by two factors. One is the performance rating, with five being the highest and one being the lowest. And the other one is compare ratio, which uh, we also have five categories. And then it's essentially telling us how much the salary is compared to the market. So for example, in the matrix that we propose here, we're saying that if you're a top performer um, with a rating five, and if you're paid 20% below the market, then we are essentially proposing a 7.81% salary increase for you next year. So that's the data we have and of course in the real business case you can change the number as much as you wish um, but then how do we apply this matrix very quickly to our employees so let's look at the employee data here so we have a whole bunch of employees um, made up names of course um, their performance rating and their comparation groupings how do we find out their merit increase proposal quickly well, um, I know some people would do it with the VLOOKUP function, as you can see here, which is essentially saying that, well, if your performance level four, and if your comparative ratio grouping 80 to 90%, then um, we look at this table here, um, and you are essentially the third column, we look for your salary increase number here, which is right. But then if we look at the next one, um, the person's rating is two, and then the combo grouping ratio is 90 to 110%, then we need to redo the, redefine the table and find the number we want in the column four, um, which of course works, but then think about it, if you have a lot of columns here, then you are gonna kill yourself by changing this, um, the for formula so often, and it's very easy to make mistakes. So the way I'm going to propose uh, to do this is to use the index function. So with the index function, you type in index, and then you select the matrix that you're going to use, uh, which in our case is the one here. And then one thing you need to notice is that you need to make an absolute uh, reference uh, so that the reference doesn't change as you um, copy the formula. And then the next one is the formula asks us to choose uh, to find the row number. So how to find the row number? Um, this is where we use a match function. So you use match, and then you basically look up uh, the performance rating for um, in the heading here within the performance rating heading. And again, it is um, a reference that you want to oops, um, the reference that you want to absolute because you don't want to change um, as you copy the formula. And then if for the match type, uh, please go with the exact match because this is something very precise. We don't want to make any mistakes. And then the next one you use is to find the column number. So, for, so here we want to look up uh, the 80 to 90 percent grouping within the heading row here. And then we want to know which column they are um, for um, the reference. And again, here, you want to absolute it. Um, and uh, you also want to find the exact match. And, um, and then you close the formula with the index function. And then, boom, here we go. And then the best thing about this is that you can just copy down the formula for everyone. And then it just goes. Um, to how many rows you want. And then it's one formula that works for everyone. Um, you don't need to change the table of rows anymore. So it's very handy um, and I find it saves me a lot of time and I hope it's helpful to you as well.